The Montana Lifestyles Podcast, my friends. My name is Tim Lee. It's such an honor to be able to hang out here at the Great Western Show and have a great time with a ton of amazing artists from all over creation. Good heavens. So, Gary, let me ask you first, where are you from? I'm uh, originally from Oklahoma, mm -hmm. worked a lot, most of my career in Texas. Yep. And then uh, my wife and I uh, moved to New Mexico mm -hmm. so I could do my art full time mm -hmm. back in 2012. Awesome. 2012. So you've been over in New Mexico for quite some time. Uh huh. So now tell me a little bit about the drive up here because my land, there was some blizzards coming on the way up, weren't there? Well, it, you know, there was natural and man made. <laughs> uh, the. Uh, well, it's a three-day drive for yeah. me, so I come up through, do a little bit of pretty drive, and I go mm. through Durango and then Cortez. Get and, some pictures on the way. Uh-huh, yeah. uh -huh. and then uh, my first night, I stay in Moab. Well, I was, everything was going fine. The weather was cooperating, even though I knew there was going to be some sketchiness. Yeah. And uh, I was driving along the highway north of Cortez, and the sheriff's deputy pulls across the road. No, no. And I'm thinking, this this can't be a good thing. Mm -hmm. And he was a great guy. I mean, he was. Just, <laughs> but you we, got we, pulled we, over. Oh, you know, no. I, I, well, I mean, I don't I don't share my dots pretzels with everybody. <laughs> and uh, but he was such a good guy, and and we oh, no. had a nice conversation. But what had happened was there had been, I mean, just minutes before oh, no. I got there, there had be, been one gentleman who had. Run, run off the road uh, and was hanging over a ledge. They had to go rescue him. Oh my. And a semi ran into a power pole and knocked power lines across the highway. So, you know, that's not a quick No, fix. no. And, so, and it hadn't been going on for a while. So anyway, I sat there for a couple hours and, uh, you know, being patient, just, you know. A couple of hours being patient. Yeah, yeah that well, doesn't add up very well usually. Well, you know, listening to your playlist on your iPhone helps a little bit. Slightly. So, uh, anyway, uh, he came back and he said, it's another three hours. Oh, no. He said, they've got, you know, it was the power lines was the problem. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway, I kept seeing these cars out of the corner of my eye. And growing up in southeastern Oklahoma, mm. I know what county roads are about. Mm hmm I didn't realize how bad they got in Colorado this time oh, of year, but no. I had yeah. I had four year you got four, four wheel, drive. wheel drive. Good. And I thought, well, if I just take it easy. Yes. And uh, and I'd actually seen some sedans driving down the road, which if they can the, do it, you can do it. Well, when I was going, I saw them coming back. Oh. Uh, so anyway, maybe not. so anyway, got around that, and you know that's. Long story short, it was I finally got around there, but that was a trek. Three day know. trip turned into a, a week. <laughs> well, it was three day trip, but it was a long three days. A very long three days. And so anyway, got around, uh, got on the other side of, of all the action, and and got on back on the highway, got up to Moab probably close to midnight. Oh my! And uh, then I went to, uh, you know, after after Moab headed up for fairly uneventful except you have to drive through the entire state of utah in mm. a in a city yeah and then i got up to idaho falls idaho falls i got up and it was sunshiny mm. it was pretty so i got on the road and maybe 20 minutes up the road ground fog mm -hmm. and i mean it went from sunshine to darkness mm. and so i had to drive through the fog and and, after that, and then you hit a little bit of snow on the way out mm. past that but after that was you know, you just get, it's tiring yes, to get certainly. up here. And usually I really enjoy the drive because I can get a lot of material. Certainly. And when I go back home, I'll, You'll be, be, doing getting, the same thing. I'll be getting material yes, on the sir. way home. But I had, I last year was my first year here. Oh, yes. And it was such a good experience. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, you know, I had, had applied to the Russell mm -hmm. and, you know, they didn't know who I was. And so yeah. it was kind of sketchy and you've seen my work i mean i think you got some beautiful you know, work uh, but i was looking at um, you know i thought well i'll come up here and let them see who i am yeah and, you know let them know i'm not just a total knucklehead so yep. i came up in march came back in august 
and really enjoyed the people and and love this venue here. Yeah. I think this is a, isn't this great. It's well, it makes sense. Two hundred and forty plus artists here. Everyone getting along so well. This is family here, man. You you are entering well, in family. That well, and that's the whole deal. Everybody is considerate of everybody, oh, yeah. and and it's a great place to me. I mean, nothing about the venues that are in town, mm -hmm. but you've got parking issues. Oh, you've yes. got all these things going on, and as someone who had just been to Great Falls for the first time last year, yes. The streets make no sense at all. <laughs> no, they don't. All to the one anybody. ways. <laughs> Coming through downtown. I'm on Second Street. Now I'm passing Second Street. I thought I was on Second Street. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but uh, uh, but this is the parking. You've got parking. Yes. You've got for the for the uh, folks that are showing here yeah. you've got easy access in and out yes they've and, taken very very good care of us even oh, in the absolutely. middle of a blizzard and let me tell you when it comes to the great western show folks you're expecting to find a lot of western art gary has got some really beautiful Thank pieces you. that hold to that form very very well you're looking for western you're looking for the cowboys riding the beautiful horses you're looking for the equine this man has got some gorgeous looking stuff Thank uh you. how many years you've been painting gary oh I think most of the people here have been painting over 30. I mean, <laughs> full, full time, full time for me has been, uh, I would say full time professionally. I yeah. mean, I've been selling artwork for 30 years, but yeah. when you do it every day and go out and get yes. the models that you want, yes. it's been uh, about 11 years now. And a good 11 years, so it sounds. Oh, it's, it's, it's been wonderful. I mean, I enjoyed, uh, my wife and I uh, both were, uh, in the energy business mm. for almost 40 years. Mm. That's a busy business. And Well, and I was what they call a, a petroleum land man. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. kind of the social part of the deal. Yep. So it was fun. Yep. And we worked with contracts and made deals with other companies. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. But there was this one thing that just was eating at me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, I, I, you just, if you've got that artist bug, mm -hmm. you want to go, I wonder if I'm good enough. Yeah. And yep. and you just have to you just have to make the plunge. Yep. And I have been blessed to have a wife that has been so supportive. Excellent. I mean she is just she's a neat lady. Uh, you know, she's before I sign anything, I always run it past her. Is yep. this okay to sign? She's your admin is what you're saying. Well no, no, <laughs> it's like she, you're on your own. <laughs> I'll, we, we collect too. Yes. Uh, and so what we do is we'll, uh, she will, uh, she decorates the house mm -hmm. and runs the house. Mm -hmm. And I, luckily I've got a really neat studio, but it's, it's a stone's throw from the house. Mm -hmm. So I'm not bugging her. Yes. And, and she's not bugging she can, you. Yeah. She yep. can, she can, she can watch her HGTV shows all she wants. <laughs> and, and figure out how she wants to design so, the next and room. I go down to my studio take my dogs down there and it it's funny you know we were talking about how dicey the weather was yes. and some people went through a lot worse than I did mm -hmm. uh, I talked to a young man uh, just a little while ago that came from Jackson mm -hmm. and that was no treat and mm -hmm. that was just and he's a lot closer but the weather just was not the weather has been miserable but it, but then I my wife just sent me a video of our border collie and our Australian shepherd up to their bellies in snow <laughs> right now. And it's still snowing. Oh my goodness. So, that, so, so our storm's gone down there. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, but I think you all were in the same position. We were in such a drought situation yes, yes, and yes. we really needed we need this. And then some, uh, and, with all the fires during the summers. And oh, such, exactly. Yes. And, uh, and we live up in the mountains. Yep. I mean, you know, we're, uh, right next to Cibola National Forest mm -hmm. and and the Sandia Mountain and stuff. Luckily, we're so close to uh, Albuquerque that mm -hmm. if there's a whiff of smoke, mm -hmm. I mean, they are on it like yep. a bunch of ants. Yep. Uh, but uh, but we are, you know, uh, you know, you have the bark beetle kills and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And you just you really appreciate it's a pain to do yeah. but you really enjoy the fact that you you get moisture and you'll take it when you get it yeah. and that's the way we are yeah. uh, so we don't we don't gripe about it too much yep. and, you know Karen's at home 
drinking hot cocoa watching <laughs> and enjoying the snowfall. yourself yeah while you're out here enjoying hanging out with a bunch of awesome other artists well it's yeah. fun, you know and and some of these uh, folks are long time have turned out to be long time friends. friends yes yeah. absolutely and uh, then i've got you know and then i'm meeting new people yes. that i've never met before yes and quite honestly like any other artist i see somebody i've never seen before and i'm just wowed by their artwork so i'm like up there admiring their work congratulating them on such a fine piece and then going how did they do that yeah exactly and then that's the wonderful i like how they did this or you know and uh but that's i think art everybody knows with art it's you know you borrow from the generation before you yes and you know it forms who you are exactly and uh, of course i'm at the age where i grew up you know with starting with black and white tv mm-hmm. watching you know cowboy shows and mm-hmm. you know uh have gun will travel and, yep, of uh, and all the old ones you know and uh up through you know bonanza and, yep oh yeah i love bonanza yep. you know so we we went to all that and magnificent seven if you can't get excited about western art mm-hmm. and especially growing up in oklahoma and and uh, my dad was a veterinarian yep. and so with him being a veterinarian you're around all those equine and uh, some exactly so yes. you know you, you knew anatomy i i've got a degree in mm-hmm. biological science mm-hmm. and so you kind of you know those type of things and it helps i think it helps with your art oh i'm certain it does. but also Absolutely. just even if you don't have a, a degree with that yeah the fact that Still, you, you got the you've knowledge. been out there and you've seen yeah you know what you know what a horse looks like you know what a cow looks like yep. you know you know what uh, you know what their innards feel uh, like well yeah and, and what a jersey looks like versus yes. an angus yes you know it's totally different yeah and so i think you just know the little details and then since 2012 i've been able to go out and get you go Even out more. and get good models yes and uh, i mean you can always find a herd of horses or some cattle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you can usually find some some good specimens yeah. of them but models are hard yeah uh there are good models and there are just okay models and, <laughs> he's being and very you, nice well and you don't and i don't mean that in a bad way but also <laughs> you gotta you run into the fact that the model that you like probably that might not be the time, one that other, everyone else likes well or everyone else does like mm-hmm. and then suddenly you're going okay i'm gonna have to change his face yep. because yep everybody's doing it yep everyone's got the same guy yep. exactly. exactly or same woman or yep. uh you know whether it's cowboy native american whatever but it's it's one of those things where you enjoy mm-hmm. you know it's it's like the hunt mm-hmm. uh, and i've never been speaking of hunts i mean i've never been a uh, a big hunter but i always thought but I, in fact i very early on i found that i didn't enjoy hunting mm-hmm. i enjoyed stalking mm. i enjoyed that part of it and being out in nature and everything but now i figured out in, in my later years that you know if i if i can take a good enough picture of it if i had i could have taken it down if i needed to eat <laughs> it's just i i'd rather go to albertson's yeah you know, <laughs> it's just it's easier it's already it's already been you know, uh, packaged yep. and, you know, I just throw it on the grill. So. That helps. Gary Bird, an absolutely incredible Western artist. You need to come see him, him here at the show. Gary Bird, fine art. Make sure to spell that bird with a Y. That's with a gonna Y, be important. yes. So G-A-R-Y-B-Y-R-D, fineart.com. Go and check him out. Uh, now, we're gonna allow you to come and have a wonderful conversation with this gentleman. You're gonna have a great time. We're here at the Great Western Show and you're just gonna have a ball. We're over here at the Montana Expo Park right here in Great Falls for three more days. So make sure that you come and check it out. A humongous thanks really quick to Johnson Madison Lumber for sponsoring the podcast. We deeply appreciate them. If you're doing any kind of woodwork, building your future home, your wife has been watching too much uh, uh, too <laughs> much of the HGTV, then uh, yeah, you might want to get the wood from the professionals who know what they're doing. Over 300 years of experience, Johnson Madison Lumber will take very good care of you. On top of that, are you enjoying the chair? Is it nice and comfortable, very sir? Very comfortable. And let me also say, please, if you hate my stuff, you're going to find something something else you like out here i promise you <laughs> there's some incredible it's, stuff here. it's a such a variety of yes, art sir. and such fine fine specimens of art so yes. you know come on out plus. and plenty of easy parking yes 
which is obviously going to help. Free parking, by the way. Free entry into this awesome show. Come and see. Uh, Ferrens Furniture provided these awesome chairs for us for the podcast they're today. Great. They really are. Everyone walks by and they're envious of us because I'm the one sitting down. And it's like, well, come get interviewed. You can come sit down and enjoy a comfort well, for a little bit yourself. better than that dead gum folding chair you yes, found me Yes, for in sure. Exactly. There. And then, folks, once again, thank you to everyone who is taking part of this. Make sure that you please share this out. If you know Gary, if you love Gary, if you want to support the world of art, please share out this video. Make sure that we get it into the hands of the people that deserve to see it. And remember, I don't care how how good a photographer Gary is, how good a photographer anyone is, art needs to be seen in person and exactly. felt in person. There are emotions that hit you. In comparison to social media, there is nothing like seeing art in person. Come and see us. May I make one plug you real quick? May. And if you'd like to look at my artwork before you come out too, it's GaryBirdFineArt.com. Yep, with a Y on that bird. With a Y. All right, we got more coming your way right here on the Montana Lifestyles Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for the conversation. You're very welcome, sir.